Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Tuesday. It is May 7th. It's about quarter to eight in the morning. I am just getting ready to make myself some coffee and I am waiting for my mom to get here because I am actually grooming today. I know, I am grooming her dogs today. Uh, if you guys did not watch my last vlog, a uh, quick little recap, I uh, resigned, quit my grooming job, so I have not been working for the past like five weeks now, and I wasn't sure if I was gonna groom again. Well, it turns out today that I am actually grooming my mom's dogs today. Uh, they really need to be done. Yeah, that's what we're doing. I feel okay about it. Like I told her I would do it for her uh, just because it has been so long since they've been groomed. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing this morning. I have everything set up. So it's not the most like ideal situation, but I have my grooming table here. I just have all of my stuff set up right here including my little grooming smock right here. So yeah, we are we are grooming today. Pretty exciting. And I think I'm gonna keep her dogs overnight because my mom is actually going out of town to help my grandpa with some stuff today. So uh, I told her, I was like, listen, like just bring them here. I will groom them, I will watch them. And we're supposed to get some pretty severe weather tonight. So I said that I would also, um, keep them overnight so they don't have to worry about driving back here late at night and getting them when there's a storm. They can just go right home or stay there or whatever. But yeah, I did want to say like a huge thank you to everyone who commented on my last vlog and my why I quit my job video. I've been getting so much love and support and just understanding from a lot of you guys and I really appreciate that because that is something that I really needed so I just appreciate you guys so I'm just gonna finish making my coffee and wait for my mom to get here and we can get to grooming it's so weird I haven't groomed in over a month so fingers crossed I remember how to do it <laughs> I'm just kidding
All right, guys, so it is now 1130. The puppies are all grown. Charlotte has her little bow in and Arthur, he likes, he likes being up on that chair and looking out the window, but they each got their haircuts. It went really well. They were very well behaved. Yeah, hi, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. And Arthur, hi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And little Avril is right here. She's just spectating. She's been watching the whole time. She does really well with them. She does, She has more of a problem with bigger dogs, but when it's dogs that are like her size, she does fine. I think she's a little confused as to why there's dogs in her house, but she's doing good. She's just been like watching them and kind of playing a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I got a like emergency weather alert. So I don't know if we're supposed to have like a storm or something. It's literally sunny out. So I don't know what the heck's going on. Charlotte, don't you dare mess up your ponytail. Don't you dare mess up your ponytail. You're already messing it up. Now the rest of the day, I'm just gonna clean up and hang out and chill. And it felt really good to groom. It felt really good to groom. So I'm glad I did that. Hey guys, so it's just a couple hours later. I was just sitting here chilling on the couch, just relaxing. We did end up getting that severe weather, by the way. So, you know, that's happening. But I also got an Amazon package and I wanted to share it with you guys because, okay, so I have been trying with all my might, and I was doing really good for a while, to avoid the Stanley Cup trend, okay? Like, you see all these, like, influencers and people on Instagram and YouTube talking about their Stanley Cups and how much they love them and how great they are. And, you know, for the longest time, I ignored them because, like, it's a, it's a cup, right? It's a freaking cup. Well, <laughs> So, you know, I was doing really well for a while. And then as you guys maybe do or do not know, I have been basically decluttering my whole life. And last week, I believe, I went through my whole kitchen and I got rid of like all of my cups and my tumblers because I just never used them. And then I realized that I no longer have a water cup because I've been trying to drink more water, you know, to help my skin a little bit. And, uh... I have tried avoiding the Stanley Cup trend and I cracked and I got a freaking Stanley Cup. I'm not proud of myself, but I got a Stanley Cup, okay? So I just wanted to unbox it because I have never had a Stanley Cup. I have never had any sort of like thermal cup. And with all the water that I have been drinking lately, I figured why not? Let's go ahead and try it. So I did end up getting the 30 ounce because the 40 ounce cups, they're like, they're ridiculous, okay? So I did get a 30 ounce. Um, so let's go ahead and open up my very first Stanley cup because <laughs> I can't with myself, I can't. I am someone who never falls for like stupid trends and this Stanley cup trend has just been so dumb to me, but. Okay, we're doing it. So this is the Stanley Cup that I got. It's actually really big for a 30 ounce. So I'm really glad I went with the 30 ounce. So it looks like this. I did get the stone color because I could not decide on a color. So I just decided to get stone. Really heavy duty, good quality. And I just, you know, people say that it keeps your drinks really cold and, you know, all this other stuff. Here is my... Here's my Stanley Cup. I'm an official Stanley Cup girly. Like, please don't. Actually, do not ever say that again. It's cool. The straw? It's just like a plastic straw. I guess I was expecting more from the actual straw, but the top seems, that seems really secure. It seems really insulated. It comes with, it comes with directions. Why do you need directions for a cup? I cannot wait. Go make myself some lemon water. And no, I'm not going to be one of those people that gets like 50 different Stanley Cups and like 10 different colors. Like I can't, no, I'm not, like this is going to be my one and only. I do not need more than one cup, okay? I can see where the addiction is, I guess, but at the same time it's like kind of ridiculous. But there it is. I fell for it. I have a Stanley Cup now. <laughs> That is where you are seeing the majority of our outages and closer towards the east of Madam One as well. And I know that we have a couple different providers here. Confirmed tornado in the Kalamazoo County area just south of downtown. Uh, that rotation. Reese, this is an active night for us here in West Michigan. We have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings. We have multiple tornado warnings. A new severe thunderstorm. 
Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It is literally 7 o'clock in the morning. I am in my car, obviously, and we are getting ready to head to the vet because today is little Avril's dental. I don't know if you can see her. She's she's back there. The vet called me last night at around like 5 o'clock and they let me know that they had a last minute cancellation and if I wanted to bring her in today for her dental. So that is where we're heading. I think that I am more nervous than she is. Um, <laughs> it's like dentals are very like straightforward procedures, you know, but it still makes me nervous like her going under and stuff. Uh, I don't know if she's going to have any extractions today. She has two of her back molars that are like chipped, worn down, cracked. So I don't know if they're going to be able to seal them or if they're going to have to pull them. I don't know. Uh, but I'm just, I'm kind of like a nervous wreck because I feel like ever since I lost Jackal, like everything when it comes to Avril just makes me nervous. Like I'm so focused on her and I don't want anything to happen to her because she's all that I have left you know so I'm just really nervous um she's probably gonna be there all day like I'm dropping her off now and then I probably won't be able to pick her up until like four or five o'clock because you know she has to go under and then she has to wake up and all this other stuff uh it's probably gonna be really freaking expensive so I'm also a little nervous for that but uh Ugh. okay um yeah let's go bring Avril to the vet, the dentist. <laughs> and you know, I, I can't really afford this right now, but at the same time, like I can't put off her dental. Like pets, teeth health is so incredibly important for their overall health. So, and unfortunately Avril is a Pomeranian Chihuahua, which are like the top two breeds known for bad teeth. So she just has bad teeth. She's had a dental once before, like a little over a year ago and it went really well so fingers crossed we have the same experience but she also needs like a checkup and some shots and I'm gonna do all of like the pre anesthetic steps that I have to take because I'm just a nervous Nelly but <sighs> okay let's go to the vet let's do it I'm back home I just dropped her off and I can't even describe to you guys the pure silence of my house like I feel like I can hear everything. I'm so used to hearing a dog walking around, but there's no dogs in my house right now. It feels so weird. I, Cause the last time she had her dental, I had Jackal and me and Jackal spent the day together, but now it's, it's literally just me. I know it's like standard procedure to like go over like the risks and stuff of surgery, but uh, it just makes me so nervous. Like they were talking about like, oh, if she, you know, dies, what do you, what kind of CPR do you want? I was like, oh, no say that but I know they have to but so Avril is gonna be gone all day probably gonna be um a very pretty penny that I'm spending today like dentals are so so expensive but worth it so yeah um I'm just going to find stuff to do today to keep me busy and just wait to hear to wait to hear something I guess I am having them do like the pre-anesthesia blood work to make sure that her kidney levels are okay because her kidney levels are something that um, I'm concerned about. Like I wanna make sure that she's gonna be okay enough for surgery. Like her kidney levels aren't anything that's like dangerous, but they're elevated. Her SDMA is slightly elevated and I just wanted to like make sure it didn't go up more before they put her under. So I did ask for that. Even though she had her blood work done in December, I still just was like super nervous. And I was like, let's just go ahead and do it. It's happening, it's it's happening. Oh my God, my house. I don't even wanna be here. It's so empty. An update on my Stanley cup. So if you guys know, I got a Stanley cup yesterday and this has been sitting all night. I have not put it in the fridge. It's just been sitting here. So let's see if it's still cold. Oh my gosh, it's literally ice cold, holy shit. Okay, all right, I see the hype. What's up, Stanley? I get it, good, good purchase, I like it. I'm not even gonna lie, I like it. Hey guys, so it is currently 4.20 p.m. I just got a call from the vet, she's all done. 
Uh, she's still napping, so I can't pick her up until like closer to six, they said. So I still have a while before I can go and get her. But unfortunately, <laughs> she lost three more teeth. <laughs> So she has she so in the last like year year and a half she's lost seven teeth because <laughs> her last dental she had to get four pulled and then this one she had to get three pulled so um yeah she she's working her way up to being a very toothless dog but she's okay everything was fine her blood work and all that was good so yeah I'm thinking now it's gonna be closer to like. <laughs> $1,200 now because of just all the extractions and stuff. So I'm really anxious to go and get her. Like, I've just been a nervous wreck all day just waiting to hear something and to, like, go and get her. So about another hour and a half or so, I can go get her and I can bring her home. I'm so excited. I've missed her all day. She's my only dog now, and me and her have gotten so close, so when she's not with me, I'm like... <laughs> I have separation anxiety now, like, I just want my baby girl. Good girl. Yeah, soak up some of that medicine in your tummy. Yeah. There you go. Need some more? Oh my. <laughs> Making a mess. She's almost done eating. All right, big bite. Probably feels so good because it's nice and cold. Good girl. All right, so I am back home. As you guys saw, Avril did eat her food and I did give her her first round of medications. She's just on a pain med and it has to be taken with food so I had to really get her to eat and the only way she would eat is if I spoon fed her out of my hand so she ate she had her meds she is very out of it um, which is to be expected uh, the total for everything she had done today was nine hundred and forty dollars and twenty cents okay that's a lot and um, I think I told you guys earlier that um, she had three teeth pulled no, <laughs> she had it says your pet had six teeth extracted today, not three. She had six teeth pulled. So altogether, she is now missing 10 of her teeth. And on her paperwork, it says they did five simple tooth extractions and one complicated one. Um, I think she had a canine and a few incisors taken out. So yeah, she had six teeth pulled. Uh, which I'm okay with like if they're not Suitable to be in her mouth anymore take them out. So that is fine um, Another thing that I'm very excited about is if you guys remember um, I've always been concerned about her kidney levels her SDMA level was always slightly elevated at 15 the normal limits are 0 to 14 and hers has been at 15 for a while so I had to put her on a kidney food prescription food diet and before her surgery today, I wanted them to run her blood work to make sure that her kidneys weren't getting any worse. And I am so shocked because I don't know how this happened, but her kidney levels now are at an eight. So it went from a 15, which is just slightly elevated, back down to an eight. I am just, I'm so excited. Like I'm just through the freaking moon about that like thank you Jesus oh my gosh so excited so the kidney food is definitely working so here is all of her blood work everything looks really really good and then here this is the level that we've always been concerned about it's at an eight like 
Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Really, really good blood work. But now it's time to take off her bandage. And I was really excited because like they have to give her an IV. So they have to like shave her little leg and they give them a bandage to go home. And I noticed when I got her home, I was looking at her bandage and oh my gosh, they picked the best bandage because it's black with white skull and crossbones. Like I tell, like, this is the vet clinic I used to work at. So when I tell you they know me, they know me. It's the cutest bandage and it's time to take it off. I don't really want to bother her right now, but I do need to take it off. Oh, I know. Are we so tired and sore? Yeah. Oh, you poor baby girl. Yeah, there's my girl. Oh, yeah, here's her little bandage. And I don't know if you can see... The little skull and crossbones, look how cute that is. Are you a badass little girl? You sure are. Can we take your bandage off? Oh, it's okay. Here we go. Nice. So yeah, here's her little bandage. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Like how fresh, I like low-key want to keep it, but like, and that's just the little bit of blood on there. But look how freaking cute. I'm like, I'm going to keep this because this is just way too cute. I know that's probably weird, but I love it. <laughs> Are we out of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to relax and snuggle the rest of the night, just keep her calm and hopefully she'll sleep good tomorrow and she'll be more awake in the morning, but can you see her little tongue out? <laughs> oh. I know, you're mad at mommy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys, long time no talk. Well, for me, not for you. It's been like one second for you guys, but um, hello, how is everyone? Today is Monday, it is May 13th. It's about 11.55 in the morning. I am just finishing up my coffee in this like really cute mug, nap time and chill, perfect mug for me. So yeah, um, I haven't talked to you guys in a few days. I think the last time I talked to you was Avril's Dental. And I'm happy to report that everything is going well. She's doing good. Everyone's doing good. Avril's doing good. She, yeah, oh. She's healing well. Everything's going good. She's finished up all of her pain meds now. And she's eating, drinking. I did notice that it took her a couple days to like fully kind of come out of the anesthetic a little bit. But she's fully back to normal and she's doing really good. Yeah, and your breath is better, that's for damn sure. And then this past weekend, me and my boyfriend just had a kind of like a date weekend. Like we just kind of spent time doing things together. He went and got a tattoo. He took me out to dinner and we just hung out and it was just, it was a really good weekend. I didn't vlog any of it because we rarely get like date time together. So I really just wanted to like, bask in that and just kind of really fully enjoy it and now I am back but everything is going really good I'm actually a little bit nervous because tomorrow I have orientation for my new job and I'm really nervous so I have that tomorrow at noon I just have to like go in and do like you know like the paperwork stuff and whatnot and then I probably have to go and get some new shoes, like work shoes, because all the shoes that I wore for like grooming, they were really comfortable and they got the job done, but I'm not, like the job I'm going into isn't in the animal field, so to speak. So I don't wanna wear like my grooming shoes into this environment, because I just feel like that's really unsanitary. So I got rid of my grooming shoes. Cause I mean like, you know, working in the animal field and working with dogs, like it may seem really like cute and fluffy and fun, but it's actually really gross. Like you have like bodily fluids, you have like anal gland secretions and that kind of stuff. Like I just don't want that. I'm like, I don't want to wear those shoes anymore. So I probably have to go and get more sh new shoes tomorrow. Yeah, I don't know when my first day is going to be. That's another thing I'm like kind of nervous about because 
I have been thoroughly and like thoroughly enjoying not working like a regular job. Like I love it. Like I have been able to keep up with my YouTube, my sponsorships. Like I've just been able to like be a YouTuber and it's been so nice. It's just not the most stable income, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's okay and it definitely helps for sure, but it's not something that I feel comfortable enough just relying on. So, and I feel like I need to like, just get out there. It's going to be like a part-time job. It's not going to be anything like, you know, 40 hours a week, nine to five or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really nervous and kind of excited and I'm anxious to see what's going to happen tomorrow. I look like I died. Like <laughs> I need a full beauty day. Like I need to touch up my roots again. I my skin has been like freaking out on me because I've just been so overwhelmed with everything. So yeah, basically today I've just been editing and uh, getting stuff around for tomorrow, kind of making a list, like a to-do list for me to do tomorrow. And yeah, oh my gosh, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird because literally the last four years of my life have been consumed with you know dog grooming and now it's kind of like I have to shift my focus into something completely different and it's just going to be it's going to be weird but it'll be okay. I'm also waiting on an Amazon package to get here because in my filming room you know I have this box light my ring light with my DSLR and another box light and as you can see there are no light bulbs in my box lights. I had to order new light bulbs for them because on Saturday when I was getting ready and doing my makeup to leave to go with my boyfriend for like our date day, I usually will turn on one of my box lights to do my makeup, you know, just so I can have a little bit more light. And I was about halfway done with my makeup and I started to smell something like burning, like something was on fire. And I was like, what the hell is that? And then I look up at my box light and it was like kind of like making this like hissing noise and it was like flickering and I was like, oh my God. So I immediately turned it off. I unplugged it and it was my box light. So I took the bulb out and got rid of it. Mind you, the bulbs that were in there were like eight years old. Like I've had them for forever. I have not had to replace them yet. So I'm hoping that it was just the bulb and not anything like electrical like internally wrong with them so I'm waiting for my new light bulbs to get here and I'll probably wait for my boyfriend to come home before I like turn it on because I'm just so nervous like this whole room smelled like burning like I'm so surprised that like my smoke alarms didn't go off because it reeked in here and it was like sudden like the box light was on and then all of a sudden it was like and then like a flickering and then just a burning smell and one of my biggest fucking fears is like fires and house fires and apartment fires like it literally makes me physically ill thinking about it so I was immediately like freaking out and I was like we can't leave until that smell is gone I have to make sure that nothing is going to catch on fire when we leave like I was just a nervous wreck so I'm hoping that these new bulbs will do okay. Um, I got the same ones because I wanted to make sure I was getting bulbs that are like built for these lights. They were expensive too, like 30 bucks, all right? 30 bucks for light bulbs. But the, these things are like huge, like when I, like they're massive. So yeah, the rest of the day, I'm just catching up on some stuff, getting some stuff ready for tomorrow, editing, and just hanging out with Avril. It's gonna be weird also like going back to work because like I've been spending every day with Avril and like we have our like little routine where we'll wake up, we'll go for a walk, we'll come home, you know, we'll run errands together and now it's like I have to go back to work. And <laughs> it's like we can't have our little girls days anymore, but yeah, it'll be okay. I'm still really hoping that I can keep up with my YouTube channel like I have been doing because it's, I've been able to like keep a regular schedule. I've had stuff scheduled ahead of time and it's been so nice because for the longest time I like kind of fell out of that and it's been nice to be back in it. So I'm just hoping I can keep up with that. Uh, it's about noon now and I'm getting kind of hungry. So I'll probably go have some lunch and 
edit this vlog. And then I think I, I might start a new vlog starting tomorrow just with like the orientation and job stuff because I feel like this vlog has been like the dog vlog, <laughs> you know, with like me grooming and Avril's dental and stuff. You know, so this is kind of like the dog vlog. So maybe I'll start like another one and it'll be like the job vlog. <laughs> I don't know. You guys really like my vlogs. Like I'm still shocked as shit by that, that people actually like my vlogs. It makes me feel really good for sure. But it's like, people like watching my life? Like what? So yeah, I might just start another vlog, but we will see where the rest of the day takes us. Just gonna go finish a few things. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next clip. Alright, got the bulbs. As you can see, they're insanely big. Let's put them in. No, I'm going to have my quinoa with salmon. All right. So far, so good. Hopefully they don't start smoking and crackling.